Hi guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my kitchen. So we are in week five of a low carb keto lifestyle change. So I and hope you guys are doing great on your low carb. And again, if you ever have any questions, um, please by all means in the comment section, ask them and I will answer to the best of my ability. I've kept the eight pounds off. I haven't lost any more weight, um, and that's kind of typical. Uh, you'll you could see that um, sometimes there's a plateau in the weight, but it's about the inches. And I've lost a total of five inches between um, the chest, the waist, and the hips. And um, my clothes, I went down a size in um, jeans, which is good. Uh, again, for me, this isn't so much about the pounds as it is just trying to have my body be healthy. If this is your first time joining me and this is the first video you're watching on low carb, I have put all my recipes and tips and tricks and information about low carb or keto in a playlist, so just open all that. Right guys, since we are in week five, this is um, after the first two weeks, you certainly can go ahead and start to add in additional carbs. I don't want you to pick up a piece of chocolate cake, but go ahead and you could start adding in the berries. And this is why I've decided to go ahead and make a low carb cheesecake. They are in the lower uh, glycemic index. Another thing at this point, it's been five weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and start to add in some bread. Now, when I say that, this, these, I love low carb tortillas. Here's the problem. Some of them are very, very thin and they're big and you know, I'm just not into that. I wanted to find one that was, you know, a smaller size. So I actually found these the other day and I'm very thrilled. They're a whole wheat tortilla. They're by Mission and they're called Carb Balance. And the net carbs on this is three so you could easily have two tacos filled with meat and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes and there be hardly any carbs in them so it would just be wonderful and i'm sure don't worry guys i'm sure there'll be a recipe or two for low carb tortillas coming soon and what is the recipe going to be this week? Well, I thought I would do something that you guys would really enjoy, and that is a low carb cheesecake. So I will have made it in two versions. The first, I made a raspberry, and the recipe is the same for the base. It's just a matter of what you want to top it with. And the second is a blueberry lemon. So I'm going to go ahead and make the blueberry lemon today but I will go ahead and show you the video of the uh, raspberry. I made that one for my husband for Valentine's Day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, recipe for low carb cheesecake. So basically this means I'm not gonna do a crust. So eight ounces of cream cheese. We need heavy whipping cream and then either stevia, or any other low carb sh sweetener. All right, so we have one cup of heavy whipping cream and we're just gonna whip it until it has stiff heat. And it's best to use the whip attachment. I'm just gonna scrape the edges. Good. So how can you tell if it is a nice peak? You see that? That's perfect. So it's a nice stiff peak. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just transfer this to a little bowl and cream the cream cheese. You're gonna go ahead and put in a quarter cup of your sweetener and just let it blend together. That looks good. So now we're going to go ahead and add the whipped cream in. The heavy cream that we just did. And that looks great. This, now, 
you want any kind of nice little ramekin. Um, I chose these, I thought they were really festive. And all we're going to do is fill the little ramekin bowls. Okay, now, since the family's not on low carb, I crumbled up some uh, graham crackers and put it in theirs. And for mine, at the bottom, I put some little ground up walnuts. And then we're just, okay, we're just gonna ladle some in each cup. Add a few more graham crackers to theirs. And a few more little walnuts to mine. Have a little spoon and just smooth them out. them chill in the refrigerator uh, until they set and then you could choose any berry you want. I chose raspberries because um, I'm actually making this for Valentine's Day but you could choose blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries and I'm going to make a sauce with this and I will show you how to do that and I'm gonna save a few of the strawberries to garnish on the top I mean a few of the raspberries just to garnish on the top so I'm just in the pan Smallest amount of stevia. Uh, it's about a teaspoon, if that. We're just going to add about a tablespoon or two of water. I'm going to take a little strainer, put it over a bowl. And then we're just going to pour the little raspberry goodness into the bowl. And then all we're going to do is push down. Honestly, I'm just going to leave this sit and do its job. But you could see here in the bowl, you're just getting pure, beautiful raspberry juice without the seeds and the pulp. So just going to take our time, push that through and then you'll just have beautiful raspberry juice. And I'm just gonna set this to the side. All right guys, so the recipe is exactly the same with just one exception at this point. So we've done the heavy whipping cream, just like before, just beat it until it's, uh, whip it until it's stiff peaks. We're going ahead and bring you in here so you can see. I have, I'm going to just scrape the bottom of the bowl. This is the cream cheese. And you guys, you want to really, really, really whip this until it is light, light, light. And then at this point, And at this point, you need a, a grater or a microblade. And all I'm gonna do is add lemon zest. And I'm going to add the zest of a whole lemon. You want this really lemony. And be careful not to get the white. You see, I'm just getting the yellow. And you can see here, look at all that beautiful lemon zest. Gorgeous! And we're just gonna give a little tap. And then I'm gonna show you, if you can see in there, see all that beautiful lemon zest? We're just gonna whisk that all together. I wish you guys could smell it. Lemon zest has so much fragrance. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the whipped cream that we did earlier. So this part is all the same. The only difference is, is we've added the lemon zest. 
All right, now for the blueberries. So just so you know, I did measure uh, the berries. That's how I'm gonna be able to give you guys how much carbs are in the cheesecake. Um, so I have one cup of blueberries. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And these are not the sweetest uh, blueberries. So I am gonna add, when I say the smallest amount, do you see that? It's probably a teaspoon of the low carb. I use stevia in the raw for the sugar. And that's what we put in the cheesecake as well. And then we're just gonna let these blueberries do their thing. We're gonna let them cook, we're gonna let them pop, and it's gonna make a beautiful sauce. So I have some really cute ramekins here. Um, because this is one of my favorite low carb desserts, I went out and bought some really cute ramekins. Where this line is, that is one cup. So um, that's where I fill it to, uh, leaving room for a little bit of whipped cream and a little bit of blueberry garnish. Just check my blueberries here, don't want them to burn. Now I just want to show you the cheesecake. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is whipped together beautifully. Now I'm going to go ahead and just fit, fill these just so the bottom is covered. Beautiful blueberry sauce that we have. Just show you. Can you guys see? This is the most. Let me just show you this gorgeous blueberry sauce. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center of each one. I just think it adds Aren't those beautiful? And then I'm gonna take the little chopped walnuts. You can use other nuts, just you know, check the, the label. And I'm literally just gonna sprinkle the smallest amount on each one. Aren't these looking so pretty? And then I'm gonna top it with the rest of the cream cheese mixture. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. And honestly, these don't even make a full cup. They're probably closer to three-fourths cup. This one's even a little smaller. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator until they are set. And then I will top with whipped cream and a little bit more of that blueberry sauce. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the recipe for the low carb cheesecake. Give it a try, let me know what your thoughts are. It's so easy, you can make this anytime. Great thing about this recipe is there's only a few ingredients depending on what you wanna to top your cheesecake with. Uh, guys, as always, if you're subscribed to my channel, I just wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed and these videos are of interest to you, hit that subscribe button. And if you're